Hi everyone, welcome to another Third World Garage video. Today we're working on this. It's the automatic air conditioning controller out of a 2000, my 2005 Mini Cooper. But I believe they're the same in any of the first generation Mini Coopers, Mini Cooper S's, Mini 1's. Well, probably not the Mini 1 because it was the stripper model and only available in Europe. But, um, but basically this car's air conditioning is acting like it's demon possessed. It decides it wants to be hot, it decides it wants to be cold. And I'm really tired of it. So I salvaged another air conditioning controller, but cosmetically it doesn't look as good. However, the board is pretty much perfect. Now what you want to do before you do this, is you want to look at the board, both sides, real carefully. See if anything looks like it's broken in half, left the smoke out, whatever make sure all those chips look good and culprit in this one might be this chip right here this is the thermostatic resistor what it does right here you have a little fan looks like this and what it does is it pulls air through on the back side and it makes sure that and that's how it samples the temperature now if this thing has gone haywire and isn't connected correctly, it could be thinking it's hot and cold and not really knowing which end is up. So before we take this one apart, in case it's just a bad connection, we're going to go ahead, take the soldering iron, actually in this case let's just use the, the heat, the hot air rework because it is a surface mount device. Take it away from the plastic that it's going to melt. And... I'm going to try to heat that old solder up. Make sure it's well adhered. The thing is this... Do you remember the red ring of death problem of the the Xboxes a few years back, well this can have the same problem. Any modern electronics can. Problem being that um, it uses this solder that replaced the lead with antimony. In doing that, it made it more crack prone. It's safer to use but I've lived dangerously most of the time and I'll have stuff like this which is a lead based solder and then I've also got this lead free crap solder too. Anyway, the thing's got to do its cool down cycle. We're going to just move this aside and take it apart. Now what you're going to need for this is a Torx T6 driver. I happen to be using this little ratcheting thing but the ratchet's kind of useless after the first few tries. There's a screw here one here, one here, one here, one here, and one here. Make sure that's visible. Here, 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 here. And then it just comes apart. I'm actually going to leave the motor on there because I'm reusing the casing. Like I said, the other one's a lot more weather beaten looking. But I, this one I had to clean when I first got the car because someone had spilled soda all over it. Probably because it seems to have had the originally the accessory cup holder. You know, the only one that actually is worth a damn. And unfortunately those had their share of issues. Now I'm going to leave the screws in there. And I'm going to just gently work the this out. I got to get the... I get that unplugged and then I just slip something in here and yeah disconnect that okay and here's our original board it's not bad now but I had to spend a lot of time with alcohol cleaning this thing up because it had soda all throughout it really rather not use one that's been that abused I'll put that aside on something static free or so I'll tell YouTube 
And I'm going to take this off too because who knows. And we'll go ahead and install the, this. Remember these have to face down because these are what contacts it. Actually, this is not in as good a condition as I thought it was. This back plate here looks like it's all cracked. Let's take a look at the other one. It's in much better condition. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an executive decision here. Go ahead and just reuse this piece off of the donor vehicle. And again, apologize if you can't see everything, but I'm just basically releasing these tabs to try to get this section loose. This is in two sections, the front panel. One holds the buttons in, the other is the absolute front. Oops, I'm gonna take those too. Remember, if you gotta clean this thing, you gotta really take it this far apart. I'm trying to be careful not to break those tabs. this as a spudger to gently push this apart while I loosen this tab. <sighs> and it's not wanting to come off. A little more work. Actually a little, a little less talking. You get the picture. There we go. And this is the piece that actually holds all the buttons. Hmm. But those, well, they're not as clean as these. And then neither is this piece. This is kind of filthy by comparison. So. I gotta decide if I'm gonna actually clean those. Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm just not gonna do that. Here's our new one. Here's this part. I don't wanna go through all that. The Mini Cooper is actually, it's not a car that gets driven on a regular basis. It sees weekend duty mostly. I just don't trust it. It's not a reliable car. Make sure there's no fingerprints on there. And it is indexed. To only go in in one direction. Now we'll go ahead, and because I've already washed that fan, I'll just go ahead and use that fan. Put this over top of here. And press that into place, get that to snap in. Go ahead and bolt it back together. And this one is not going to go anywhere because it knows all the plastic disintegrated that it goes into. Um, and this one here. Pain in the butt to get back in this hole because I just did something dumb. Um, let's see here. There we go. Oh, it's magnetic. Even better. Go ahead and insert that like that. Uh, 
And I think that puts it back together. I'll take that screw out because it's just going to rattle. And there you go. Our fan, thermistor, or mounting hole. This is just a dummy port. Doesn't do anything. But there you go. That's how you go through one of these Mini Cooper automatic air conditioning um, air con well, control panels. And if you haven't already, please make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I'll come back to you with more interesting content later. Thank you.